Guess who? It's Jackie. I am here with this look. I use this Sultry by Anastasia. Actually, I probably shouldn't say that because it's technically not by Anastasia. This came from DH8, which is a app where you can buy cheaper makeup, but it is not legit. It's not, but it works pretty darn good if you ask me. So yeah, that's what today's video is about. And yeah, I hope you like this look that I created. If you like this video, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave because I would love to have you. And we have fun. We really do. I'm, I'm not lying. I mean, we do have fun. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay. So don't mind my brows. They are a hot mess. I'm, I'm growing them out so my friend Katie, shut up, can uh, shape them for me because she's really good at that and I really suck at that. So don't mind, they may be a mess for the next couple of weeks. But today I want to use this Sultry palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. My friend Katie gave this to me. She got it off of DH Gate, so it's not the real, real palette. But I think it's beautiful regardless, and I'm gonna use it anyways. So that's what we're using. And if you have the real palette, follow along with me and see if your look turns out the same or maybe better or whatever. And let me know in the comments. Yeah. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to start with the color a Birch. And I used my Maybelline concealer to prep my eyes. So we're going to start with Birch. Oh my goodness. So yesterday, you're going to see this on Tuesday, but... I'm filming it on Friday, the day after th Thanksgiving. Why do I keep doing that? The day after a Valentine's Day. And yeah, yesterday on Valentine's Day, I tried to film twice and both of the looks I were, was coming up with were absolute junk. I did not like them at all. So I was like, okay, apparently today is not my day. <clears throat> so it's a good thing I pre-filmed. Because yesterday was just not a makeup day for me. But of course, turned off the camera and just did a quick look and it came out good. But it was too similar to looks I've done in the past. So even though the look came out good, you guys would have been like, yeah, we've seen this. But yeah. So that's my little story for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> we're gonna go into twig. And we're gonna put that in the crease. By the way, thank you, Katie, for this palette. It's beautiful. You'll see the look I'm creating with it is gonna be gorgeous. Okay, on to the next. Next, we're gonna do this Dopian, it's dark brown, and we're gonna do that in the outer corner. And a little into the crease, like a third into the crease. Love me a palette with pigments that actually show up with dry brushes when you put them on the first time. Love it. Oh yeah, so my little story for today about what is going on in that spot that I must have watered about 
having the issue with my makeup. Anybody have days like that where it's like it just isn't working out for you? Like you try and try and it's just like going so wrong and you're like, yeah, uh, forget it. <laughs> it doesn't happen to me very often, but there are times where I'm like, yeah, today is not my day. <laughs> If you were curious about my Valentine's look that I ended up sticking with, it is on my F Beauty Obsessions with Jackie Facebook page. So if you go down in the bottom of my description box, there is a link to that page if you want to go like that page and check it out. Feel free to. Just slowly building that color up, by the way. This palette is gorgeous. Wow. Impressed. I like it. Okay, moving on. I We've done enough. <laughs> that was the dumbest laugh. We're going to use a eyeshadow brush. And we're gonna go into Rose Quartz. And we're gonna go into that dry because when I swatched it, it was wow. So we're gonna go into that color and I'm very excited about it because it is gorgeous. If you have this palette, you probably already know that. But here we go. Oh, it's so freaking pretty. Holy moly, guys, that's a pretty color. I think I'm gonna take teak. And just, do I want teak or cinder? You know what? I think I'm gonna go with cinder. We're gonna take, whoop, hi. We're gonna take cinder and we're gonna put that between the rose quartz and the dystopia dark brown color. And I'm gonna use my finger. see it it's all on my finger that's why you can't see it okay <laughs> maybe we get another brush Let's use this VH cosmetic brush I think it's because it's so close to the color of the rose quartz maybe that it is really close to that so maybe that's why so pretty though these colors omg omg Okay, now we gotta do a little blending of the dystopian brown into these colors. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we're gonna take the twig that was in our crease. We're gonna clean up that crease. Just a little so you can actually see the crease because that transferred a little bit into the crease. Transferred, I don't know. I probably got it myself in there. I myself probably got it in there or it did transfer. Yeah, what are you gonna do? It's gorgeous, I'm not complaining. <laughs> So pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take the transition shade just a tad 
blend out the edges. And the transition shade was birch, just in case you forgot. Which happens, I've done that. Oh man, so pretty. I can't get over how like, wow, sparkly. And the fallout is like non-existent. There's like no fallout. That is, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, that's what I meant to do. Anywho's, moving on. We're gonna go to the bottom lash shells line, lash line, hello. And we're gonna take twig, twig, twig. We want twig. Where's the, okay. Let's, let's, let's wipe it off because there's some of that glitter. Okay, we're gonna take twig. Go along the bottom lash line. Apparently the palette didn't think that was a good idea and closed it on me. I always do my like makeup like how I want it. It does not match my shirt at all. I suck at matching my makeup to my clothes. Like doing it so it actually looks good with what I'm wearing. I'm so bad at that. <laughs> but like I don't even care. In the winter time when you go out, you go out in a winter jacket. So like it freaking matters. It don't. Don't. It doesn't. Don't sounds. Let's take that birch color and just kind of blend that out. I always get it. All right, we're going to go into that dark brown dystopian and we're going to connect it with the outer up here. <laughs> the outer up here. Oh my goodness. Okay, now we're going to put on some eyeliner. I'm using the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. It's like my go-to. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the bottom lash and we're gonna use the cream liner by e.l.f. Put that on the bottom. Waterline, grab a Q tip. Mm -hmm. In case you're wondering why I use a Q tip, I said it in a past video, but you may be new here. I um, dry off the waterline first because it helps the eyeliner go on better and stay better because. It didn't get placed on a wet waterline. Okay, so now I'm going to pop on lashes and uh, probably my cover girl current nude matte melting pout matte lipstick. It's my favorite these days. I wear it all the time. So yeah, I'm gonna pop that on and then I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the final look. That the the shimmers in this palette are so freaking gorgeous. I can't get over it. I really can't. So yeah, that is a final look. And in case you're wondering, I've been using um, City Color Glowing Complexion Illuminating Cream. I've been using this. Under my foundation, I've done it a couple times, and look how glowy. And then I've been using it for my highlight. I'll put this on as a highlight, and then I'll put the IBY Radiant Glow Pink Pearl highlight, like over that. Oh, it's so pretty. And I've also been using it in between, like in the middle of my lips to highlight the middle of my lips a little instead of using a gloss. So I just wanted to let you know that. And I, I, I'm not a big fan of this kiss strip lash adhesive. I like, I know everybody raves about it, but 
I feel like I have more issues putting on my lashes and them staying in the corners on the sides with this glue than I did with my duo glue, the um, brush one, the clear one. That one just worked so much better. I mean, it didn't take as long to dry. Uh, I put on my lashes just fine. They stuck down just fine. I had no issues with either corner and it lasted all day without me having to fix anything. So I'm not a huge fan of this Kiss glue. Just not. But it's what I have for now because they didn't have the duo at Walmart when I went. So that is what I've been using and I'm not a big fan. But anyways, that is today's video. Hit the like button if you liked it. <laughs> kind of like, duh. I like this video. I'm going to hit the like button. Anyways, so hit the like, I don't know what's going on with me. Hit the like, like button if you enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. I would absolutely love to have you. And hit the little bell to become part of the hashtag notification nation and be alerted as soon as my videos go up which is every monday tuesday thursday and friday 10 a.m is when i schedule them to go live so 10 a.m and head on over to my facebook page like my Facebook page where so you'll see some sneak peeks of future looks and looks I've done and I'll start doing lives once I get up there and people once people really start liking my page and there you can ask questions for Q&A videos and yeah anything like that so head on over to my Facebook page and like it and yeah, that's it for this video. Look at the shadow behind me. We could do shadow puppets. How do you, what? Mm -hmm. no. Anyways, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.